Hey guys, welcome to Genius Tomato. So Boba has been an emerging superstar in the drink department in recent years. Its origins began in Taiwan and quickly spread to the rest of Asia and is quickly becoming a hit here in the United States, North America, Europe, and all over the world. It's easy to understand why it's become so popular and why people fall in love with it. The nice refreshing milk tea, the sweet flavorful syrup, the chewy bouncy fun boba pearls, and the fast straws to drink your boba with. Young and old people have embraced this as a refreshing pastime drink, as well as people of all cultures. But how much do we truly know about boba? What do we know about the ingredients and what it's made from? The history, how it even got its name, and even how good or bad it might be for you to consume. In this video, I will show you five things you didn't know about boba. So stick around, and you might just learn something that you never knew about boba tea. But before we go any further, please make sure to smash the subscribe button if you haven't already and click on that notification button to get updates for new videos. All right, let's get to it. Number one, ever wonder what the tapioca pearls or better known as boba is made from? It's like a soft gummy gooey like texture and it makes you think what ingredients it could possibly contain. Based on all the scandals that we already covered in our earlier video, the 10 Chinese foods that can kill you, which if you haven't already watched it, the link will be in the description box below. Boba comes from the root of the cassava plant, which is also known as the Menuhat Esculenta, which is a yam or oddly carrot shaped shrub. It is normally found in places such as South America and parts of Asia. The cassava plant contains double the amount of calories compared to potatoes and is loaded with carbs and sugar. Definitely not your go to source for something nutritional, I will say. The boba or tapioca pearls are made from starch that has been extracted straight from the cassava root. Sounds normal enough, right? Well, here's the catch. Boba contains cyanogenic glucoside, which can release cyanide that is harmful for humans. This is because the cassava plant in which the boba is made from is safe for consuming only after it's been processed to remove the cyanide. The process involves cooking the starch that is used to make the boba to detoxify it and make sure it's safe for consumption. If consumed raw, symptoms can include a drop in blood pressure, rapid pulse and respiration, headache, dizziness, pain, vomiting, diarrhea, confusion, and even convulsions, and worse. Number two. Did you know that boba was one of the inventions that was just created unexpectedly on the spur of the moment? I guess it's true that some of the best things that happen are spontaneous, and it seems to be the case for boba. There are many stories on how boba came about, but there is one legend that always stands out from the rest. Back in the 1980s, tea stands were picking up in popularity in Taiwan due to the convenience and the need for a refreshing drink after work and school. To stand out from the competition and all the other generic tea shops opening up, one concession owner at a tea house in Taichung started to serve cold Chinese tea, which is traditionally served hot after getting the inspiration from iced Japanese coffee. This is where the story starts to get more interesting. During an eventful staff meeting in 1988, his product development manager, Ms. Lin Xu Hui, was clearly bored and decided to keep herself entertained by mixing Taiwanese dessert called Fen Yun, a sweetened tapioca pudding, into her iced tea and then drank it. It was a freak accident that was never planned, but she couldn't help to realize how good it was with the dessert and iced tea combined together. It was so good that the company decided to add it to their menu, which quickly turned into one of their top sellers. With the success from this tea house, other tea concessions began to incorporate their own versions of this new sweet dessert iced tea by adding their own famous boba pearls and different flu flavors to their iced teas and thus came the birth of boba and the bubble tea we know today. I guess the old rule of telling people not to play with their food doesn't always hold true. You never know what creations can come from it. Here's another fun fact for you. Did you know that global bubble tea market was valued at about $2.2 billion in 2019 and is expected to grow and reach $4.3 billion by 2027. They're gonna to have to make a lot of boba to keep up with this demand. Number three, we all come to believe that boba pearls are black in color because that is normally the color we have grown used to seeing in their bubble tea drinks or when watching others slurp down boba pearls. However, the color of boba can vary and it depends mainly on the ingredients that are in it. Boba in its purest form should be white or translucent pearls because they mostly contain just starch from the cassava root that we have covered earlier in the video. Boba can also come in brown color 
which includes cassava starch and brown sugar, which gives it the brown color. The black color boba, which is the most common in bubble tea, gets the color from a combination of cassava starch, brown sugar, and food coloring. The combination of the food coloring and the brown sugar gives the boba the dark black color. Food coloring is not always known to be the healthiest, but some even can be more harmful, such as caramel coloring. A coloring found in soda contains an artificial form of phosphorus that can be capable of leaching the calcium from our bones and is potentially carcinogenic. Here's another fun fact. Boba pearls can vary in size as they do in color. The original bubble teas used a smaller tapioca pearl, which is about only one twelfth of an inch in size. These small pearls are also used in traditional Taiwanese desserts, similar to the ones that Ms. Lin Shu Hoi, who we had mentioned earlier in the video, had used in her iced tea. The larger size bobas came about some years after when a tea shop owner who decided to stand out from the competition created the larger boba pearl, which is about one fourth of an inch in size and is the boba that we commonly see in our drinks today. Number four, here's something I'm willing to bet that you didn't know about boba. Most will probably think that the bubble in bubble tea comes from the boba pearls, as that will seem obvious, or does it? Well, actually, the bubble in bubble tea refers to the oxygen pockets formed when shaking the tea. The drink needs to be shaken well to ensure that the tea is properly mixed with the flavoring. So instead, bubble tea acquired its name from shaking or blending that causes the bubbly foam that gathers at top of the drink and not the actual bubble pearls. Boba can also actually have many other alternative names. For instance, it can be called milk tea, pearl tea, tapioca tea, momi milk tea, boba naicha, boba tea, boba, and bubble tea. Number five, and one that I know for a fact that you boba lovers won't want to hear. Sorry boba lovers, but boba is not the healthiest choice of drinks. In fact, it's the same range of sodas in terms of potential health factors. While every bubble tea shop is different, on average, a regular size 16 ounce boba tea can have up to 300 calories and 38 grams of sugar per drink. If you decide to upgrade the size of your boba drink to about 24 ounce, on average, it will be a whopping 448 calories and 57 grams of sugar. To put this into context, that is about 15 teaspoons of sugar. Also, depending on what kind of milk you use for the milk tea, it could potentially be fattening as well. If you compare it with a standard 12 ounce can of soda, which on average can be anywhere from 140 calories and 39 grams of sugar. Boba Pearls is made from cassava starch, as we previously mentioned earlier, which means it's loaded with carbohydrates, but not the complex carbs, which is the healthier version of carbs you will find in whole grains. Boba tea for the most part is a large cup of empty calories and sugar with little to no nutritional value but I guess that's what makes it so good. Here's another fun fact. Some boba tea shops allow you to be able to customize the level of sweetness for your boba tea. They have a sweetness scale system where you can request 25%, 50%, 75%, or even 100% level of sweetness that allows you to control your sugar intake while still enjoying your boba tea. Boba tea, anyone? And there you have it. Thank you for watching and hopefully you learned something new about boba tea. You should all be boba tea experts by now, and the next time you have boba tea, you will know so much more about it than just a black gummy ball that tastes really good. If you like this video, please make sure to smash that subscribe button and click on the notification bell icon for updates on our new videos. Also, click the thumbs up button, share, and leave a comment below on what's your favorite bubble tea flavor or what you like best about boba. Also comment about the next topic you'd like to see on this channel. See you on the next video. Ciao.